The Northwoods is home to tons of lakes, rivers, and streams, also known as surface waterways. And every two years, the Wisconsin DNR surveys the water to judge its quality. Newswatch 12's Andrew Kikiefer joins us now live in studio with details from their latest report. Andrew. Justin, Wisconsin DNR officials say that this year's survey revealed more than ever before. I spoke with them as well as local conservation group Greenfire to learn more about their findings. The reason everyone should care is that it's really important to our own health. Water quality data gathered by the Wisconsin DNR constantly improves with advancements in technology. We can do analysis of different things like phosphorus and chlorophyll, which is algae, chloride, and bacteria from all over the state. When the DNR monitors the Wisconsin waterways, they classify the bodies as impaired or healthy. Impaired waterways need attention for restoration. We're really glad to hear that uh, uh, the new things are getting incorporated at DNR. That's part of science that moves on as things get better. So as they get coverage around the state, they monitor uh, new waters they didn't get to before. One of the great updates to technology since I've been here is the fact that we can do automated assessments with all of the information in the database. Improved computing power is only part of the equation. We had a few more than our usual number of bacteria listings because we had new criteria. I think the criteria give us a tool to be able to find more. I believe we've had some issues on the landscape for a while, but now that we have these new tools, we're able to find more and essentially clean up more since we know about it. A lot of these impairments are the result of uh, things that happen in a whole watershed. For example, the phosphorus impairments, the soil erosion problems. While more impaired waterways have been discovered, healthy bodies of water have also been identified. I think we had a net 142 waters added to the healthy waters list this cycle. So we have some impairments, but we're working on them. And we also have a lot of healthy waters to enjoy. Ashley shared that of the waters assessed, 80% are healthy for everyday use. The Wisconsin DNR welcomes the public to express their questions and comments on their investigation. You can email the DNR or snail mail uh, your two cents. All that contact information can be found at dnr.wisconsin.gov forward slash topic forward slash surface water forward slash condition lists dot html.